Okay, James is shutting it out. I just got him up. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. It says we're still alive. Really? It's gone off on main. Mm. Yeah, it's only just come back. Which and yeah, it says we're offline. Hmm. I didn't actually have to do anything to fix it. I oh, know hmm. we definitely went away because it says back online fifty-eight seconds. Okay. So, yep, it's just gone back online. How Weird. strange. Yeah. I didn't do anything. Maybe it knows your butt exactly. near. Maybe it knows you're nearby, so it's going. Oh, controller's back. We'll be online now. It's cool. I almost had a little nap. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right. So it was going to be her turn, I think. Yes. Which, uh, one of the spells doesn't actually exist, so I'm going to have to change that. It's always fun. Uh, and she is going to... do... Uh... Right, so it is... Green Flame Blade. So her blade ignites with a greenish-hued flame. Uh... And she is going to make a melee attack, so she still has to roll her fucking... Oh, well, it worked. Oh, nice. Uh, wait. Weapon used in spells, casting, and make a weapon attack, okay? So, turns green, slices at it, cuts it uh, for three damage. Um, and then... Green fire to leap from the target to a different creature it chooses. Oh, within five feet. Okay, then. So that doesn't really work. Because <laughs> uh, there's no other creatures. Would have been awesome if she saw the construct, which I don't know anything about. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to move that there then. Uh, okay, so she doesn't actually cast that spell then because it didn't do anything. Um and instead is just going to slash at it, dealing three damage. And... Unfortunately, he doesn't have any, um, like, uh, what's it called? Bonus action spells. So that's going to be her turn, as she kind of, like, slashes a bit of the uh, goblin's arm. Uh, and the biggest... Rockus uh, is going to start smushing again. Smash. Smash. Killing two more rats. <laughs> and as it does, it then moves closer to Fainal. God. It didn't like being bitten too much, so uh, those rats got splatted. Splat the rat! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you just watch as uh, it kind of smears them against its, like, big rubbly arms. Uh, right, Carrie, what are you going to do? Hmm. Let's just get Krath off the turn order, because he's uh, dead. But uh... alive. <laughs> Unconscious. Same thing. <laughs> uh, going to go with another... Uh, just a normal... Um, what's it called? Uh, Bob Slices attack. Ah, I see. Bob Slices, isn't that celebrity? No. Oh. <laughs> Bob <Barbara> Slices. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, yeah. missing. Hmm. Right. Anything else you'd like to do? No, unfortunately not. Okay. Uh... So, then it comes to uh, the Goboblin's turn, as um, he then quickly, uh, under the fear of uh, this woman, uh, grabs uh, Krath 
uh, and begins kind of like holding him by the neck as well as holding like a, a dagger. Oh. Oh. Uh, making oh. a meat shield for himself. Huh. <laughs> And all you guys can hear is, and he's just like, just like jabbing the dagger in uh, into the air, just kind of like, kind of like directing and showing what you'd do. Why couldn't my thing hit? <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, they are now kind of like on the same tile. Um, right, so. With that, it then becomes Feynor's turn. Who has the biggest problem? Indeed. <laughs> How big is this thing? Uh, it is considered large. It's mm. kind of scraping its head against the ceiling. Uh, oh, stalactites yeah. kind of falling around it. Uh, anyway, let's, let's activate my shield. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... It is currently within five feet of you. Are you happy with that? Uh, is it yeah, big enough it. to be like... You know it is not large enough to be within your shield. It is currently standing within it, but not all of its body would be inside. Ah, then yeah, I would like to activate shield. Okay. So you activate it, and suddenly, uh, without it being able to see, it uh, cuts it in half. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think that's about right for half. Uh, so one side staying within the uh, dome. Uh, collapsing forward in front of you, while the other half sits there on the ground outside the dome, staring at you. <laughs> Still alive. Oh. At you. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gone. <laughs> it has no organic functions for it to die when severed. Ah, shit. <laughs> Good to know. It is now not very happy with you. <laughs> Didn't seem very happy with me in the first place. <laughs> Lucius. Hello. What are you doing? All right. I'm moving my globules up. Mm -hmm. um, how much right. can you move them? Is it 60 feet or 30 from each? Uh, from each. It's 30 feet from each. So, okay. uh, hold on. I just need to make sure. Yeah, they're still in the vicinity, so I'm going to gingerly start moving up. Go back to my barrier. <laughs> and okay. yeah, that's all I can do really right now. Uh, I'm just going to get behind my barrier and that's about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so once your turn is done, uh, the creature is going to see you return with your dancing lights, uh, and is going to try and, um, shoot at you as well. Oh. Uh, so. 20? Di <laughs> yes, that hits. Uh, okay. even with my, uh, extra cover. cover, yeah, it still hits. So... Con save. Mm -hmm. Come on, please. I don't think this is going to work. Nope. I definitely don't beat it this time. Nope. So, please right. roll a 1d1000. Guys, I'm just rejoining the. I'm rejoining 1d1000. <laughs> nope. Wrong way. Apologies. Roll one deep. Wait a minute. Thousand. How many do you have? Uh, this what will you... be my fourth one because I haven't had any extras added on yet. Okay. All right. Double check how many mutations I have. I think I'm definitely 
I think you have the most so far. Maybe not as... Maybe not. You were one away from um, getting the, like, cancer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I've got so... five. Oh, yeah. If you get six, that's when you get cancer. <laughs> Um, all right, so Ali, where are you in my list? Here you are. Blanc. And cool. Oh, oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Interesting. Indeed. All right, so with that, it ends its turn. Um, and it then becomes the Rattus, who is going to try and splat us, the Rockus. Uh, as it runs over and uh, bites it, <laughs> critting on it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so if we roll on the critical hit table. 45. Let's see what that does. It uh, ignores damages, resistances. Interesting. Which is funny because of what this thing has. So. Yeah, damn. So. <laughs> it still takes a genuine 8 damage. And you watch as uh, it bites off a chunk of this uh, big golem's body. Uh, right. So. Uh, this woman's turn, uh, she now is conflicted to who to, uh, fight as she yanks the sort of crossbow bolt from her shoulder, uh, looking at the, uh, one that, it, uh, she just hit, suddenly holding up Krath, uh, and, uh, she will do a, uh, Ray of Frost, I think. I think that's going to be her uh, cool. So, yeah, she's just going to like direct her attention at the guy and see if she can snipe him without trying to slice his head off. Hitting me. Yeah. So. I would appreciate that if I come to and realize what happened. Oh shit. It also has more damage because it is a higher level cantrip. Just in total levels. Uh. Just need to start adding some additional dice to her damage. Oh god, not 21. 21 d8. Mm, mm, no, that sounds wrong. <laughs> that, that sounds wrong to me. That, that sounds very OP. Right. So yeah, Ray of Frost, fingers crossed. She misses. Just... <laughs> Luckily not hitting you, Krath. But unfortunately, leaving a uh, splat of uh, cold on the floor. Oh. We've all been oh. there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the shame that uh, makes me feel bad. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't even add her additional spells as well. That's kind of annoying. Um. She does have a thing, though, that she can use. Um, okay, yeah. No, unfortunately, she doesn't have a... Uh, she doesn't have any additional actions, as much as I would like her to. So, uh, that will be the end of her turn. Uh, the big Grollum is going to... Uh, splat the rat first. The final rat. <laughs> it didn't like being crit. <laughs> it certainly didn't. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, so, just oh. <laughs> completely pummels it into the ground into nothing but a fine mist of ratty meat and viscera. Uh, Tasty. And Fainor. Oh god. Uh, yes. It goes to hit you. 
Yeah. I, 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 uh, uh, um. You're gonna want to, but you can use. Uh, what's it called? It's. Uh, um, luckily, like luckily, it hits the dome. Oh, yeah. Kind of its uh, hand down onto the dome. Boom. Well, the dome's gone. Holy shit. Yeah, unfortunately, Thank God like, for the dome. Yeah, like luckily, non inorganic material, uh, sorry, non organic material uh, can't penetrate the shield, and so it just boom, right Did into it, know? sending a thunderous clap through the air, kind of making the dome, even though it's something almost in unbreakable, just still kind of like <laughs> kind of rippling. Mm. Oh. <laughs> would that have overkilled you? Let's see what it would have gotten with it. A twenty-eight, I think. Oh yeah, oh, that God. would have definitely killed him. <laughs> yeah, I was... so, with... so with a thirty-six, it gets. Uh... Oh no, okay. So it still would have done the additional uh, fourteen. Mm. Um. But I don't think that would have been outright enough to kill you, would it? Not to kill me, no. I've just gone to death saves. Yeah, because uh, it would Thank have needed to be double your HP. Thank goodness. Is that the current HP or max HP? Max. max HP. Oh, no, max. max HP, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Close one. That was very close. <laughs> Carrie, what do you do? I'm not sure if you'll get away with it a second time. Um... <laughs> So they're currently still... I don't think the Goblin was aware of the slice attack I took, was it? Um, on... It kind of knows that it's there, but mm. um, it, it's been dodging you, uh, kind of using its shield to, like, kind of back away from you and uh, back away from the woman. Hmm. Okay. Is it currently facing the... Which woman, way is it yeah. facing? It's face the, the one, so it's not aware. No, exactly. So yeah, I it's... mean, it still knows it's there. It hasn't. You yeah. haven't gone anywhere. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna make another above slices attack. Hmm. I'm gonna use inspiration. Well, okay. Do I want to? Yeah, I can't. I I have to use inspiration now. Otherwise, it's gonna hit him instead. Um. Yeah, I use inspiration to be well. Okay. Fourteen. Okay. A fourteen does not hit, unfortunately. Uh, Damn it. As uh, your lash kind of goes a little bit like it it notices it as it kind of moves across and kind of pulls back a bit, luckily saving both uh Krath and itself. Hmm. Okay, that's um, fine. Too. Okay. Uh, right. So, Back this good goblin is going to hold Krath and uh, is going to drag you in an attempt to <laughs> save its own skin. So, it's going to move from there to, like, I think here, if it can. It doesn't want to be within fighting range. An object of desire, you know. I'm wanted, and people want my company. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Although they are dragging me through batshit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, it's the thousands. <laughs> oh, my feet! They're going to be so mutated. <laughs> you're a man that drags you through batshit <laughs> while you're unconscious. <laughs> right. Uh, so that's its turn. Fainor, what are you going to do? I am going to save my skin and uh, activate mirror image. Okay, interesting. So three illusionary duplicates of myself appear in the space. Mm -hmm. That lasts for a minute. Shifting position so it's impossible to track which image is real. Ooh. And I'll just have to make a roll a d20 to determine whether the attack hits 
me all the targets when the golem attacks me. So. Okay. So it just gets disadvantage, right? Oh, well, no, sorry. He rolls a what? 1d... I roll a d20 to determine whether the attack hits me or one of my one of my duplicates. Oh god. <laughs> okay, so it's all on you then. Yeah. Uh, where are they though? Are they inside the shield? Yes. Okay. Interesting. Right, Lucius, what are you doing? Just a quick question about the muta uh, mutation. It doesn't happen when I'm walking or when I'm prone and going across the ground. If all the time. All the time. Got it. Yeah. Just double checking. Okay. So that uh, I just look down at my feet and go. Ugh. Uh, are you wearing boots? Yes. Oh, Ben. ben yeah. Yeah. I feel it. And I'm like going. Mm. And I slowly move around my shield. And let's Perhaps see. Perhaps it's good that I'm unconscious for this whole experience. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, it is. And I saw, I see, I'm going to come here and see him. Mm -hmm. And I am going to do a two touch on him. Okay. So hopefully, uh, my spectral hand can damage him. Uh, spectral hand, man can. Oh, it... that's a hit. That's a hit. Fantastic. Six damage. And he dies. Uh, fantastic. And I get two health. Oh wait, no, I get double because it's a necro. It's a necromancy spell. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Uh, Krath, can you roll a luck roll for me? Oh god! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry in advance! So uh, just a 1d20. A 1d20. Anything below a 10. Whew. Okay, so the dagger flies off out of its hand and does not cut your neck while oh. it falls to the floor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> landing on top of the corpse. Okay, so I get free health mm -hmm. from that kill. Fantastic. Wait, three health? Mm. Is it double the damage that you've dealt, or double half the damage you've dealt? It says uh, you regain HP equal to twice the spell's level, so it's a cantrip oh. I used. Then you can't benefit from it. Ah, shit. Because it's zero. Yeah. So double zero is zero. Yeah, shit. I was so excited. Never mind. Oh, mm. and I go back and pick up my dagger as a bonus. You're just like, oh, I remember dropping this. <laughs> yeah, I remember dropping it. Alright. So. The Goboblin is going to make another shot. That's her, the woman. Critically failing. Ooh, oh, nice. What, for the Goblin? <laughs> yeah, for the Goblin. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, I think that is a nothing unusual happens. So the arrow just kind Aww. of... Uh, lands in the mud instead of hitting her. Damn. Mm. A little harder. <laughs> you know. Huh? Unfortunately, I just can't. I can't roll anything decent, and also the rats are cops <laughs> that they don't get. Like whether it's me or whether it's against you, it's either going to be something silly where it's like, look, I just crit you twice to instantly pulverize you, or it's going to be <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to try and hit them. Nothing happens. Okay. It's a one. <gasps> At least that might mean something interesting. No, okay. No, nothing. <laughs> no. I can dream. <laughs> I can dream, Gaina. Uh, right, so this woman is going to try her best uh, to, like, she notices the guy get killed by um, Lucius. Mm -hmm. Is going to instead run her ass over here, activating her like sword so it begins to like kind of uh, become inflamed uh and is going oh. to so wait what is that that's uh her 
Ahí vamos, vamos a ver si es Yield. Ah, it's bonus action, so that's fine. So yeah, you watch as her, like... Um, it's not even like the full sword, it's kind of like words on the sword begin to, like, ignite. Runes. And almost, like, spell out, yeah, funny enough. Runes on the sword begin to glow with a red, fiery ember. Uh, and she then makes a... A uh, weapon attack. So, fingers crossed. 20. Nice. Uh, completely lopping off its head, singeing its, uh, oh. like, neck from its uh, shoulder, uh, completely killing it, burning it to cinders. Cinder! Right? Nice, so, nice, nice. That is the special goblin's turns gone. Uh, the biggest Chungus notices from last time that its upper half couldn't hit you. God. Which is curious whether its lower half can hit oh, you. Uh, oh, no, well, you don't have brain, you can't, no. That's a very ambiguous phrase. Like, oh, I can hit you with my lower half, winky face. Or like, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to kick you. Like. Uh, it's little nubbin legs are going to try and swing it in. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this, silly... what is this silly game that we play? Uh, well, I have rip. to uh, roll a d20. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, is it a as... high or lower that hits you? I can't... It depends on how many duplicates I have, so I currently have three. If a duplicate gets hit, it vanishes. Uh, so I have to roll a six or higher Jesus for it to hit. Christ. To not hit me. <laughs> okay. Please. Oh, the humanity. Come on. This is bad because I've been drinking a lot of water. Oh, and I'm like, oh, oh it's oh. exactly six! It's exactly six! <laughs> <laughs> so Jesus. one of them is like kicked into the side of the dome and you just watch it kind of uh disappear and shatter oh as it kicks with its other leg now oh. what yeah double attacks <laughs> okay 12. uh would that hit you it'll be well 12 ac for either me or my thing so yeah it would hit Okay, so yeah, uh, roll a d20 now with, uh, was it 10, or? Uh, it will be an 8. An 8 or higher, okay. So it hits you for 13 damage, as uh, the leg kind of... Uh, yeah, that's me on 0. Okay, so you're unconscious. Uh... As uh, you get bashed against the wall... Your other clone disappearing, uh, and your dome. Uh, actually, oh yeah, it's concentration, so it just Ooh, drops. Wait a second. What? I thought your armor was thirteen. Uh, I might use my inspiration. Oh, okay. What are you going to use it for? Your lucky reroll a failed chip. Oh, okay. Okay. That... Um, yeah, or you can just use it as normal and apply disadvantage on my attack roll. Yeah. Do you want to take that chance? Uh, do you really want to use it to rewind my d20? Yep, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll do that, yeah. Fingers crossed for you, man. I don't think it having disadvantages, you know, gonna. It's got uh, quite a high <laughs> modifier, is the problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go on. There we go. Ah, there we go. So. As it's just about to hit you from our perspective, or like the viewer's perspective, uh, you kind of get the big sort of wide eyes as we see it kind of live out the experience of being smashed against the thing. And where we think it's suddenly you, it and breaks into pieces, uh, destroying your other clone. Leaving you unharmed. Yeah. Right. So, Carrie, what are you going to do? As you've uh, you've watched everybody else do your job. <clears throat> so, 
forgot about this little guy. It's going to be there. <laughs> Daniel? Um, Daniel? Sorry, sorry. I had to. I muted it for the thing. Sorry. Um, let's see. So he's moved over to here. So he's seen me. That thing's seen me. But I know that they've moved over here with. I don't know the result of that. So I guess I'm going to move. Yeah. Do six movement to move. Okay, maybe ten movement to move here. Okay. I see he's uh, now fine. Okay, that's good. What are you going to do about the rat that's just about to get an opportunity attack on you? Wait, what? It was close enough? Yeah. Was it? It was right behind you. Yeah, it was behind. Oh, wait, what? Well, that was within... Okay, in that case... Within five feet. In that case, instead... Well, my character was knowing that it was going to go for an attack on me... Oh, the, would she? Well, yeah, if it's going to, like, you know, it would make the threatening position. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> my demon orb moves forward and, yeah, goes in between me and it and makes a Bob Stash's attack. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Finally. It hits. Which means... One D. One D six plus charisma. Indeed. Eight. Pretty good. So you uh, send this barbed spike straight through its head uh, and plummeting through its body as you instantly kill it. Mm. Oh. You gave it a, a lobotomy to death. Mm. And then. <laughs> And then I go that way to go. Ah, okay. It has been <laughs> killed. And the killed. <laughs> the deed is done. <laughs> hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, that's my turn. All right. So, uh, all the Grobblins are dead. So, they can get off the turn order. Uh,. Fainal, what are you going to do is you've just watched two of your mirror clones getting completely shattered. Your life flashing before your eyes in a moment of desperation. One. I am going to... Probably just use a... Unfortunately, he can't run because he's got a giant rock body inside him yeah type of dome gonna mm. magic missile him oh okay and remember might... your magic missiles can't leave uh, the button the dome yeah there's a one, one inside right yeah yeah the the legs <laughs> kill the legs <laughs> Kill the legs. <laughs> and James, we can see that. Right. God, that what what is he saying? Yeah, no, he's researching demon souls, and we can see that on oh, the God. stream. Get that out of here, James. I'd be glad he's not looking at pornography. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at me, at... James. James. <laughs> James, you know how this works. <laughs> Demon Souls. <laughs> Get a new tab. Oh. You can see the panic in his mask. Apologies, ladies and gents. Uh, we have a little technical... Malfunction. The inner workings of James. Do not. <laughs> Good joy, it was not my last search. <laughs> oh. <laughs> daddy, daddy boy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> GG, no V. <laughs> Disgusting boy. Get out of here. Bunk. 
All right, so what are you going to do, Rory? Yeah, uh, you're going to run those missiles. At second level, so I get an extra dart. Mm -hmm. That'd be slash raw. Oh. 4d4 plus 4. Damn. Okay, so... Takes the... Uh... The full brunt of that. Uh, um, okay. So it doesn't have any resistances related to that. So, oh, don't want to do underscore because then I'll just replace the entire HP it's got. Right. So you watch as uh, you break apart some of its legs, uh, like just kind of chunking bits of uh, debris off of it. Right, so uh, is that it? Is that going to be the rest of your turn? Yep. Okay. Um, then it is your turn, Ali. Right. Uh, I gingerly mm -hmm. come out of my hiding spot. And move my globules, I see. Kyrie, I huh? see crap. I Hello. I see. That's all I see currently. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to walk over to Kyrie and go. Okay. Any more? Is there anything else that we need to be worried about? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, other than big rock thing in the back, but apart from that, all okay. good. Okay, <laughs> I can't see the giant rock thing. I'm blind. <laughs> and that's my turn. So okay. I'll be working on dealing with that in the next round. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hope that's three yeah. rounds. This woman is going to spend her turn looking at the uh, half of the big stone <laughs> uh, and is going to ray of frost it. 12. <laughs> Splashing against it but dealing no damage, unfortunately, as it, uh, the like ice kind of creeps on it but then doesn't seem to affect it at all. That doesn't make sense. Ice is super effective against what? Why? Pokemons. Yeah, but why? Why is it in Pokemon that it's super effective? It means... Uh, you know, in real life, no, I've... it's mostly because you can get no, I've... Do moisture. I'm sure I'm rock, correct, James. And as it I'm cools sure. down into is ice, it? ice I know water is strong against the rock, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but it's an ice strong against rock. But, uh... Hmm. In real life, ice is pretty effective at breaking rocks. Yeah, but so is water. So is fire. So are a lot of things. Like bombs, lightning. But then rock is also super it's effective ice against ice. Rock 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 <laughs> this is the... Yeah. Uh, right. So... Um, it's now its turn. Uh... As we also hear a shuddering in the ground coming from the other part of the cave. Incorrect, Daniel. Oopsie. We <clears throat> get out of here. <laughs> yep. We need to get out of here. <laughs> uh, so, even though it is the uh, big rock's turn, it is going to uh, try and kick at Feynor again. You ready, Thanor? Oh god. Is this the one inside or outside? <laughs> inside. Inside, yeah. Because it knows its arms aren't working against you. Okay. Uh, actually, it will do one against you and one against her, if it can reach. Uh, actually, it's probably going to have to crawl over to her. So, yeah. It's going to do one kick against you. 17. Okay. Oh, yep. roll a 20. Do you have one clone left? Oh, what you got? Yeah, one clone left. So I've got to roll 11. 50, 50. Oh, 11. Yeah, oh. 
base d20 and no. it okay so unfortunately yeah it's sort it of kicks you unconscious which mm. explains why it starts to crawl over to try and fight her <laughs> um so there we go and tries to kick her definitely hitting her oof ow Uh, but she is going to use her reaction uh, to activate her ability. Um, okay, so it takes her con mod plus her proficiency in fire damage. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, no, it still takes the damage then. Um, so, what? Ah, okay, so it takes eight fire damage. Yeah, it's not great, it's not terrible. So, as it um, hits her and suddenly just uh, the rune on her, like armor, kind of sets it ablaze. Right. And then suddenly you hear the trundling of. What is that? that doesn't sound good. What is that? Mm. Are you? So there you go. Uh... <laughs> uh, does it have a ranged attack? Is the question. It does. <laughs> ah, As it. Retreat is an option, might I add, everyone. <laughs> uh, I think I was going to retreat. It scoops up uh, a bit of dirt and throws it at you. Of course. Lucius. 15? Yep. And I'm... 10 damage. and I'm down. Wow, what? <laughs> it doesn't kill me, Boy. but I am down. Okay. Covered in mud and bat shit. <laughs> and uh, you do have uh, inspiration if you haven't used it. Uh, uh, okay. Or would you prefer to save it for the death save? <laughs> I think I'm going to save that for the death save, knowing my luck. <laughs> okay, because you could stop yourself from being on a death save, in in like entirely. It's better uh... to be alive than it is to struggle to be alive. Sure. <laughs> That's what they tell me during like all my life lessons. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I rolled it wrong. Um, okay. Uh, oh no, but it still has the same benefit to the attack. Weirdly enough. Yeah. That's not right. One second. Okay. You're right. But this might work in my favor. Maybe. Maybe. Why does it get a? What the fuck? Why is it getting a plus five? That can't be right. Why are you giving people plus fives for no reason? Right. So that was actually a nine plus one. So ten. Nine plus one is ten, so I'm still down. Oh, well, it still hits you at ten. Yeah. Ten is my armor class. Oh, oh. my god. Okay. Oh, my god. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, would I be considered in cover with the uh, rock? Yes. Then 13. No, I'm still up. Okay. It misses. Oh, why the hell? Like, I don't know why it was adding a plus five. That's pretty weird. It's a very hefty bit of mud that it threw. Well, that like it was going. Oh, uh, it's ranged attacks. Uh, it gets a like dex plus five, and it's like, why it's got minus one in dex? What are you talking about? Why does it get a plus five? For? <laughs> Yeah, there we go. So you weren't hit. Um, yeah. And that ends its turn. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, Carrie, it's your turn. Okay. I just saw Lucia sidestep by a giant huck of mud. Yep. Ooh. Noticing though that there's a path, mm -hmm. I, I drag um, 
my uh what's it called uh vessel so mm -hmm. i move how much would that be i move 10 feet over this way mm -hmm. and then as a result it travels along a similar route around the rocks okay so that's so about that and then it moves as well mm -hmm. from there and then fire it into the back of it okay okay nice that's a hit daniel rolling when it counts i guess <laughs> And then Okay, one D six. Okay. So yours. Oh just one D six I've put it and no charisma bonus. Mm hmm Hmm. Okay. Four. <laughs> Oh, and I go back to hiding. It probably is not so much enough. Uh, yeah. Cool. There you go. Mm -hmm. So it takes this like metal ball to the like blubber, and it just kind of like wobbles. Hmm. Boom. Bo -bo -bo uh, Lucius, what do you do? All right. I just saw a giant uh, glob of mud, so I just look at this creature and go... <sighs> and I'm going to use my last level 2 spell to do magic missile at it. Okie dokie. And... That'll be one... Uh, two, four do four plus... Eight. Ah, four deep, four plus eight. Okay, gotcha. Uh, t -t 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 -t.
Right. Right. So Let's it was. Uh, I uh, so this is it, um, yep, doing and the I'm thing, and then that just means that it's Fainor's turn. Oh, did you not move already? I did not move, so I'm going to quickly no. move, move away from the giant beastie. Just don't move, and it never becomes my turn. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move around this rock. I'm going to make myself the hardest target that ever was. Okay. Uh, by the way, the stream's on. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, there we over. go. Okay. It's a little while. Okay. Right. And it your is. Turn. That's my turn. Yeah. Final. Death save. Right. I'm someone who's for. Uh, it's plus con. No, yep. it's just a d. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah. Just a uh, d20. I mean d20. Just oh, it's just a flat d20. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just have to get above ten. Got a 50-50 chance on front. <laughs> That's one fail. One will fail. Yep. So, with that ending your turn, uh, this lovely lady is going to, because she still has her activated rune, uh, she is going to make a melee attack against the hairy, scary rockman. Missing. I wonder if it's because she doesn't actually have her modifiers on. Oh, it said 9 oh, no. plus 5. Yeah, no, that is right. Shit. <laughs> um... Oh, wait. Shit. Oh, no, she's fine. Um... <laughs> and I guess she'll second wind. Um, so, so with her second wind, she triggers her other ability. Oh, wait, no. Okay, no, it won't matter then. She can't technically use it right now. So, she won't do that. Uh, she doesn't have any other abilities, I don't think. <gasps> yeah, no. That is her turn for now, unfortunately. Uh, actually, mm, no. She'll she'll move out of the way because she knows that it will only get one attack as part of its uh, opportunity attack. So, if it makes an opportunity attack, then she uh, then it gets to do this. Okay, hitting her, uh, uh, uh. dealing what bloody. 19 damage. Oof. Yeah, she doesn't like that as uh, she kind of gets like catapulted a bit forward from the, uh, the impact. <laughs> and then she sees me again and I just wave. <laughs> and she screams. <laughs> uh, she's going to also, yeah, kind of dash into here as she can. Uh, she's not... alive. Yeah. Jesus. She's a buff girl. <laughs> She's a mean, and... mean lady. Oh, and it also takes uh, more damage from hitting her. So nice. Takes another eight fire damage, is it? <laughs> right. So, um, it's also going to be its turn again. And as she runs away, it begins moving to try and intercept, getting stuck in this area. Like... <sighs> <sighs> Uh, kind of lodged in there and unfortunately can't move as it's now wedged a little bit uh, but it's going to try and punch the rock to see if it can break through uh, yeah it definitely does so those um, pillars are gone right so with it being this thing's turn Going to move over here uh, oh. and scoop up Krath. Oh, oh Krath! Uh, <laughs> and with it in its arm, it's going to fling it at uh, Lucius. Uh, it, oh, it, is that all you can <laughs> Yay! That's a good thing! 
<laughs> well, it misses you, but it still hurts me. <laughs> oh yeah, you're back on death saves. It's a win-win situation for it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you're back on death saves. Yeah. <laughs> Gives me something to do, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Roll initiative for your death saves. Um, right. Actually, did I do that right? Can't remember. Yeah, does that I mean think... yeah. auto fails one, or does it mean he auto fails and loses two? Um, he just goes back on to trying to roll death saves. That's fine. So. Then. But there we uh, set from the beginning. Initiative for dying. Okay, that makes sense. So, uh, Carrie, what are you going to do? As you just watch your friend get catapulted to about here. Oh, look at him. He's up and about, finally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm, I guess my vessel's going to go up and slash. Okay. That's it. Uh, that's a hit. Oh, thank God for that. Uh, With this awfully calm music, I'm going to try and find something a bit more intense, considering yeah. the gratuitous nature of this battle. I can't believe it how my character canonically has insomnia. Yes. And yet he's been asleep <laughs> for like so long. Sorry, I can't that. Yeah, on D6. I did one D20. Oh, nice. Oh. Nine. Oh, there's one called Goblet's Cave. Perfect. I'm going to put that on. <laughs> okay, so it takes a nine damage. As you watch a, a big sort of uh, gash appear on its back from the uh, lashing of the barbs. Hmm. Alright, Krath, first death saving throw again. Oh and boy, it, here it's I go dying. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, and I'll use the... Uh -huh. ten. Oh, ten exactly. So, so success. Mark. Success, oh. Ooh. Oh, the mark? Yeah, it's marks as well. Mm -hmm. What does uh, adding the mark do? Uh, if I attack it with a uh, uh, main character, mm -hmm. uh, its defense drops by one. Ah, uh, yes, does not stack. Right, so Lucius, what you're going to do is you've just watched Krath get catapulted. I am going to move back over here. And you use this little alcove, and I'm going to do a tilt touch. Okay, against what? Oh, On okay. the big boy. Because uh, me no likey. <laughs> oh, I think yes. Your, your one friend isn't liking the situation. Okay, yeah. so. <laughs> oh, come on. Aww. Three damage. And I head back a little bit uh, around the cor corner for cover. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's my. I'm just. Fifth. Yep. Got Final. One more, one more, one more. Second death save. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Hey. One oh, success. success. Oh, no, yeah, it's one fail, one success, isn't it? Yeah, one yep. fail, one success. Okay. Uh, the woman is going to try and back into this uh, cave a bit more and is going to pull out her short bow. Uh, is going to take a shot at the creature. Missing. Oh my god. Just gonna, just gonna take a moment. <laughs> Fed up of everything else being able to hit things almost perfectly, and then the one this has happened twice now. I've given you two NPCs, and one blew their own fucking finger off. <laughs> yeah, smacking herself in the face. 
And this one, this one hasn't done all that much. <laughs> and she got a lovely mutation just for her efforts. I just hate the fact that I'm trying to make her seem like a badass and she fucking isn't. <laughs> the DD wow. list. Yeah, she's such a mysterious character. Mm. <laughs> Decapitated two of them and is now like running. Right. So, <laughs> big old creature's turn. Relatively, she is a badass considering how well we're doing. Uh, noticing all the sparkling lights, the uh. Slam one misses. That guy Interesting. Oh, yep. Or, yep. Or it miss. Oh my god. Val be miss. <laughs> uh, didn't you say your armor class was ten? It was ten, but I'm. Uh, would you still say I'm You're technically not behind clean? anything? No. Oh, okay, then yeah, it hits me and I'm down. Okay. And then <laughs> twenty two. Uh, uh yep. you with a technically a crit. So you take Yeah, that'll be a crit. Yeah. Uh, so let's death. see what it got on the uh the critical hit table while you're on the floor. Yep. Sixty six. Oh, mark of the level. Oh what is that? The gods have spoken, roll twice and take the better result. Well oh, Okay. Let's see what it does. Not... Oh god. <laughs> Technically, two death fails. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Why? Fuck, bro. How Don't do worry. It, it means that it's the damage it rolls twice. It's always a 17 plus something. Oh, okay, so well, actually, no, it doesn't say damage. It just says roll twice and take the better result. Oh. Oh, my. Uh, oh, wait, but that doesn't make sense because it would have been a crit anyway, so... Yeah. yeah. So you're... So, uh, you take uh, tw 30 damage. Yeah, uh, I'm already down to death saves, so yeah. Yeah, but what's your maximum HP? It was 13, so would I you're, take... You're instantly dead. Uh, okay, you're, you're, I you've died. Been, your, your head has been crushed in. Just... Uh, <laughs> rip! <laughs> Let me do uh, a big no. old X. <laughs> rip as dippers. How the hell was <laughs> I not the first one? Oh dear. Rippers dippers. Mm -hmm. I do not believe we have any uh, inspiration to go around anymore. Um, I, mean, I think I have an inspiration. Ali, did you have an inspiration? Session, right? uh, yes, I did, and I didn't <laughs> use it. But, so, can we go back? Oh, wait. How am I going to do this? Because we, we Which can't... one do you want to be well? Yeah. Well,. <laughs> Well, uh, don't worry about the, the because I rolled two um, actual attacks, so that's the ten and the twenty-two. Yeah, the twenty-two counted as a crit anyway because you're on the ground. Oh, on the ground, yeah. Um, but so can... you can make it potentially miss. But once again, it's got such a high. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, it's got like eight, so you would need to make it roll one. <laughs> It's yeah. <laughs> oh. So that's my problem. The uh, the only thing I can do is just have it re-roll and see um, what the. Wait, did I actually get you to roll on the um dramatic inspiration table? Uh, yeah. I don't so think you give did. Give it to, to us like a month ago. Like yeah, but I don't think I got them to to roll for theirs. Yeah. So if you oh. two don't mind rolling, um, one d twenty. 1d20. Then 3d100. I guess this is a good, good example of when your the dramatic inspiration system. 11. And then what was it? Uh, 3d100. You're pretty much going to be dealt free cards. If any of those help you, you might live. If they don't. Yeah. I'm still <laughs> dying. <laughs> so. Your first one of 98 is the cat nap. Use this effect when taking a short rest instead of normal short rest and gain the benefits of a long rest. Uh, oh, no, it's not very beneficial. That's not very beneficial right now. <laughs> 73 is 
Uh, show off. You may use any skill in place of your next deception, persuasion, or intimidation check. That doesn't help me. <laughs> and 19. Uh, recovery inspired. Reroll a roll you must. Uh, you just made. You may take the higher of the two rolls. That doesn't really help. That's not going to help you. Yep, so I'm dead. Rip. You can try and hope they get yeah, a one. Uh, you might as well use it to re-hit. Yeah. Or, or the DM can let you re-roll it and then let us... <laughs> oh, <laughs> never mind. I was going to say, could you use your inspiration to give someone else the inspiration as you die? <laughs> When I was about to die, someone said I had inspiration. Is that true? Yeah. I gave everybody inspiration. Uh, so if you don't mind rolling your one as well. Yeah. Uh, yep. So just 1d20 and then 3d100. Oh, I see. Wait, can you there give is... your dramatic inspirations over? No, unfortunately. No, those are locked. I see. Mm -hmm. Uh... Where is this thing? Right. Ali. Yeah. <laughs> you get to try something that I've wanted to try for a while. Okay. Begging for your life. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you, you can. Because, I mean, you're going to die anyway, so there is yeah, a chance just... I can get a one. Yeah, just you can't use it for anything else. Okay. Let's re-roll and see what happens. I've got my fingers crossed for you so badly. <laughs> <gasps> oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> <laughs> You'll live. Oh, the dice cards are with me. I'm unconscious. <laughs> On two death saves, but unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't even hit you though. Oh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't even hit you. Oh my god. So you're not even on two death saves. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but that mean yeah, because the next hit would have just knocked me unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wait, so you're unconscious, like, but you're not on I know yeah. on death saves, yeah. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, god. oh you're oh still my... alive. Oh. I'm yeah. still alive. I'm still alive. <laughs> so I missed completely. <laughs> And I got hit with the next one, which was just a regular hit. Oh my god. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> the odds are not... I don't know. One... <laughs> one out of 20. Oh <laughs> specifically, god. but Jesus Christ. Oh mm. my god. <laughs> Can you send me my inspiration stuff, please? <laughs> yeah, you're going to need it now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to get this one in a lifetime opportunity to die. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, the, the game server's crashed. Yeah. Really? <laughs> For me, it did. Oh no. Oh my god. I've got a sweaty back oh, from that. No. Jesus Christ. Oh, god. I got sweaty. Oh my god. I was breaking it. <laughs> Shitting hell. Oh, like, literally, fuck. there was only one chance of you not <laughs> dying. My god. <laughs> My mouth hurts from smirking, so I'm just, just like ear to ear. <sighs> How many flashes between our, our before our eyes is going to happen? A lot. So, so yeah, you, you just watch as this great big rock like fist comes crashing down uh but it just like because uh the way that rory's cut it is not even it kind of swings its fist a little bit too much and sends its fist into the mud just <sighs> and since it's a one we also get to see what it got on the critical fumble table yes <laughs> oh my god it might just have smashed itself in the face oh, i hope so oh my god my mouth. It hurts. It really hurts. I can't believe that happened. Ah. Never in my lifetime would I expect something to be so on the edge. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, my throat hurts. Oh. Jesus Christ. Have a cat now. 
<laughs> yeah, have a cat nap. <laughs> that one hour suddenly becomes a full rest. Oh yeah, I'm going to be using that to get my spell slots back. <laughs> right, uh, so let's roll on that oh. 1d100 critical fumble table, shall we? Yep. What is it? Okay. Oh, that seems a bit high. It is. It's not going to be detrimental or not a crazy amount. Mm. Um, it goes last on its turn order, so everybody okay. else has to go before it gets to make its action. But that's after this because it's just finished doing its turn. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and uh, all the lights go out because unconscious. Mm hmm. So it is Pichu Blacku. Yep. Um, right, Jesus Christ. Uh, Rory. Yes. Uh, saving throw. Come on, boy. Yep. Eight. Two Any sixes. Success. More to go. Uh, this woman is going to take the opportunity to rest for a bit. <laughs> um, <Don't blame> her. <laughs> uh, Actually, no. She's she's not that kind of loser. She's going to pop out and take a shot. Oh. Oh, crap, because I had to close everything down. I've now not got any of the character sheets. Right. That one. Oh, da -da -ding, da -da -ding. Dude. Sweet. That's right. God damn it, Daniel. If this was the cinema, you'd get thrown out. <laughs> due to COVID you know, and not due to anything else. The, the Last Jedi was in the cinema. My parent decided to uh, go on the phone and call someone on loudspeaker. Oh, God. I just don't understand her. It's just. Because they're just a nutcase. Big move. Very big. Dick move. Involved. Uh, right, so. Uh. Right, 34. Just quickly doing um, Tom's uh, dramatic inspiration. As the boy has been through a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although unconscious for most of it. Yeah, man. I mean, that's what happens when you got low armor class. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's one. Then your other two are in the 90s. So that should be fairly easy to grab. Oh, okay. That would have been handy if you were alive. Awake, I mean. <laughs> oh. There you go. So, oh, pardon me. oh my goodness. You sounded like one of those like cow toys where they like tilt it oh, from yeah. side to side. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what did James say in chat? I would have slapped her. Oh, God. Right. Um... So she is going to. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, she missed. Uh, so it just kind of like tinks off of it. And then she's going to dart back in. But she definitely has got its attention now. Right. There's an unconscious Lucius. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, and so. The uh, big old ogre is going to pick up the ball and chain and throw it. Yeah. That crass. Oh. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it's going to throw it at. Hmm. I mean, it would have had disadvantage against me, anyways, because I'm prone. Yeah, I think it would throw it at the, the big old rock because it doesn't know it. It's not a very familiar sight and it looks dangerous and also. Uh, is angry. just seen its dead partner. It's like... Hang on a minute. Oh, I don't know you. What are you doing here? Uh, okay. So and we'd it misses, but it definitely sends it flying... Into uh, its over. vicinity. Yeah. So it just picks up like a shot put and... Hey, you threw it over there. What the hell? Yep. Wait, what's the distance we have now? Yeah, still over in range. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So, uh, with that, it is. Kotai. Yeah. 
Um, Daniel, while while you're waiting for your turn, do you want to start updating your character sheet while well, you can? Because you do actually have one. What do you mean waiting for my turn? It is my turn. Yeah, I know, but since it's been a while since it's been your turn, and you've been rolling things by hand. I know I have. Yeah. So, like... I see, that's for you. I don't know if it's up to date, though. I... No, that's why you're supposed to be updating it while you're waiting for your turn. I see. I see. Just because it gives you something to do so that you're not sitting around. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Your ball and chain is now over there. Uh, the ogre is kind of um, sitting by corpses that it's potentially going to throw. Hmm. It didn't like the ball, it hurt it, and also uh, it decided it didn't want it near it anymore. Hmm. Yes, let's do this. Yeah. Can I come up behind it? You know, mm -hmm. as much as I do, but this action that I'm about to do is cursed. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Within a range of, what was it? Within 60, 60 feet of me. So I think that entire room. Yeah, pretty much the entire Does place. it say that they have to be con uh, conscious? It doesn't say anything about that. Just need to be allied. Oh, okay. I'm fairly sure. Yeah. Uh, so you only get one, two, four. Good four bonus. So what was it? 1d4 uh, for each time. So 1d4 plus four. Oh, wait, I need to do the actual attack roll first. Mm -hmm. So 1d20. I know. Uh, it's a five as well. Hmm? Well... Because... Sorry, there's uh, the the woman who's hiding currently. Oh, sorry. Is considered yeah. an ally. I see, I see. Okay, so, yeah. so if you can hit first. four and then proficiency, so it's plus six. Mm -hmm. cost... Yeah, that's a hit. Fuck. Finally. Hell. So one d four plus four uh, is the normal damage, but we add another five. Yep. Rolls so uh, six d four plus four. Yep. 16 damage to the back of it. Oh, man, that's really pants. That's like poopy damage. And then also its defense is dropped by one, but probably doesn't matter. Oh, damn. Okay, so its loincloth is uh, destroyed. Hmm. So it's free <laughs> in what? some sense. Hmm. So, yeah. You see a big... Uh, should I describe? Right. <laughs> you can see that it is a female ogre. There we go. We'll leave it at that and leave it to your imagination to imagine what you're seeing as its loincloth drops. Roll a constitution saving. <laughs> <laughs> throw up. Okay. Hmm. God, I haven't seen a vagina that big since my mother. Okay, I guess it's my turn then. Hygiene in a batshit infested location. <laughs> I mean, it's an ogre. Uh, it technically was having a bath before this, but it was a mud bath. <laughs> I oh, can't remember God, how... just... what killed the last one. Uh, a shot to the face by your dear friend on the floor. Hmm. I see. Uh, right, so. Kill us. Ah, another oh, death no. saving throw. Come on, Tommy. Come on. Oh, there we go. Get oh, your clothes off. I mean, nope. Oh. nope. That's my That's first saving throw. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. First fail. <laughs> Damn it. That's me. Wait, wait, wait. Why, why were you rolling, Ali? Because I'm up first. It's either me or Feynor first, but we're both on death saves. But that's that's why I said Krath, because it's oh, neither sorry. of your Yeah, it's not your turn. I'm trying to shield my moment of pain sorry. and yeah. suffering. <laughs> sorry. Right. I'm trying to have a <laughs> Yeah, trying to have a moment. To stay alive here. 
So, yeah, do you have two fails or one fail? I have one fail now. Okay. What was that? Oh, no, yeah, sorry, that was for your... Uh... insta-killing me or something. What? No. <laughs> I mean, if I was trying to insta-kill you, I would get this big earth golem to come and smush you. I've already tried to do it once. Right in your face. <laughs> Plaque of the right in your head. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the uh, big earth golem is going to come crush you. Uh, oh. No, it's not going to target anything. <laughs> on the ground. Uh, it's definitely going to try and pass through here. Um, You're too big. I, uh, I can't remember if it has a thing where it can kind of glide earth the element can burrow through non-magical unworked earth and stone while doing so to disturb the material okay so yeah it just kind of goes and you watch as its uh, form kind of slides through the uh, the the rock like the rocky walls All right so um that's going to be its turn because it can't move particularly fast when it's doing that uh, Lucius, we're going to take your five. So that's yep. a fail. That's a fail. Uh, how many fails is that? Just one. No. Yeah, because the other one didn't hit you. Uh, Fainor, what are you going to do? Well, oh, that's so. You've got one success so far, isn't it? So yeah. Okay. Uh, three, three success. That's three yeah. success. So you are now. unconscious. Roll a 1d4. See how many hours you're out. Two hours. All right. Okay. So, uh, this woman is going to move in and is going to do her very fucking damnedest by using a sword burst. You guys can't see it, but we get it from her perspective. Oh, actually, I need to make it visible for uh, James to see. Oh yeah, just. <laughs> um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh wait, I've already got her character sheet open. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, what? What's he said? From James's perspective, the goblins are evil. <laughs> so she gets vision, my vision, about 10 feet. All right. And yeah, so she's going to do a sword burst, dealing nine damage. Uh, and it needs to make a dexterity saving throw. That'd be a disadvantage. Oh, it's got like minus five dex. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it can't really... No, because it technically has its burrow speed. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, but it's got no legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. It's got a minus one and still manages to kind of just lol on her. <laughs> sake. Um, oh, wait, but she actually had an ability that triggers due to the fact that it moved into her range. Nice. Um, yeah, so when something moves into her range, she can make a melee attack. Because she is a tunnel fighter, specifically for fighting in tunnels. Oh, nice. So, uh, what? Oh, okay. Don't worry. Uh, it was only going to be the first one. And Jesus Christ... Why am I rolling so bad? Don't know. <laughs> Don't want it to be this bad. All right. Uh, um. All right. Uh. She is going to second wind so that she can actually have some fucking health after Take taking such a pummeling. Uh, plus her fighter level. Right, so she gets a decent bit of health. And also a secondary ability. 
thing that happens. Uh, probably should have just done a fucking bigger attack. Uh, actually, she can. Oh wait, no, that's a melee attack. So, yeah. Um. Oh no. Okay. Damn it. Shit. <laughs> she might die. Uh. Cool. So, uh, with that being its turn, um, the ogre is going to pick up one of the bodies and, or no, she'll probably just uh, swing and hit uh, carry. Yeah, uh, 22 it. to hit you for 19. Yep, on the mountain. Okay. But... So, she, yeah, she just backhands you with her, like, uh, great club. Oh. But... Okay. Uh, as a result, oh. my vassal returns to me and starts a strange... It floats above me in a strange state. Hmm. Hmm. God, so the majority of the party is unconscious at the moment. Uh, I think all of us are. All the party is unconscious at the moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know uh, it's just asleep for two hours. The only so, one that's up is the NPC. Yeah. Carrie, what are you going to do? Uh, death save. Mm -hmm. Wait, that was D6. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, due to doing a one of those, it lashes out, dealing 1D6 slashing damage. Okay. Three damage. Mm -hmm. uh, does it have to roll to hit? Uh, did not define, but yeah, let's do it. It's just a d20. <laughs> yep, that hits. So it does the three damage. <laughs> Taking a nasty little gouge out of the uh, ogre. It's uh, one death save. It stands above you naked. Oh, no. Um, right, and then, yeah, do your death save, I guess. Yep, I... No, I said the first, the first one of that woe. So oh, five, your your crazy D six D twenty. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, so yeah, five. one failure. Uh, and I'm going to give this guy a chance to step in and once he like hears the commotion. Uh, right. So, actually, did that guy end up having? Uh, Oh, I'll leave him there for now. Uh, right. Uh, Krath, another death save. Yeah. yeah. Oh. One failure. Mm hmm. So that's two fails now, is it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I'm on the verge of death. Right. So this big old clobber is going to try and clobber her. I can't believe he's held up for this long. <laughs> I know, he's pretty much just the survivor from the sake of being, like, you know, <laughs> there. Uh, right, so... Oh, shit, so she doesn't not even get the other one out. Not quite dead. Okay, so, no, her second wind didn't give her that ability. Fuck. Um, okay, so... This big old... Gomli Mufflafuckle is going to try and hit the woman. Hitting. Uh, dealing 9 damage. Oof. And then another. Dealing 12 damage. Still standing. Just barely. As she, like, yeah. keeps herself going. Um, right. And then this guy is going to run in. Uh, after hearing like all the commotion, be um, brave, little soldier. Be brave. And uh, looks at you on the floor, and is going to try and make a medicine roll. <laughs> oh, okay. So medicine is 
wisdom. Okay, so he just like quickly grabs you and uh, tries to help with your concussion. Um, and you are now going to be unconscious for 1d4 hours. Uh, so roll 1d4. Okay, then we roll. Oh, oh. nope. That is not what I wanted. Sorry. It had a moment. <laughs> there we go. Two hours. I'm out for two hours. All right. So then it comes back around to your turn. So you're fine. Yeah. Uh, Fainor, one more. Come on, Fainor. Oh, no. Wait. No, oh, sorry. Man. You're fine. Yeah. 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 You're, you're unconscious with zero. Yeah. Uh, the woman is going to try and do her fucking damnedest. Come on, uh, girl. Going to cast um, fucking burning hands. Yes. Oh no. no. Why does she have to roll so badly? <laughs> what is going on? I don't understand. <sighs> roll Let's bad see. decks. Yeah, so it's going to have to. Disadvantage. Yeah, because it's got no legs. <laughs> yeah. So, deck save, deck save. So the first one fails, so it takes the full nine damage. Oh, mm. that's good. So We're terrible. doing damage. We're doing damage. Um, and is going to, uh. Um. No, that's all she can do at the moment. Fuck. She wrote. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Okay. So the ogre is going to try and hit you again. Uh, carry with its club. Okay. Uh. So. Oh, Charlie. Nine. Uh, no, no, that misses. Okay, so it slams it on the ground next to you as uh, your weird ball kind of slaps it out of the way. So, hmm. um, okay. uh, save. Yeah. Whoa. So, so <laughs> you just fucking stand up with one health. I forgot it does that. Yeah, so yep. uh, yeah, I'm Because I was... you made a death save, you also get to make an attack roll. Hmm. 16 hits. 1d6. I think it was 1d6, so did we say 1d4? Uh, 1d6. It was 1d6. Okay, 3 yeah. damage. So it takes okay. 3 damage. Another nasty what? scratch. Do I have a normal turn as well? You, Does do. that... you, you, do. you come back up with your full turn. Do it, Kyrie. Okay, I guess I'm going with another dagger slash. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has one less defense as well. Yep. I guess you've already been. remember you got rid of its loincloth, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's now sta standing there. I was going to say uh, clunge, but it, that's just a horrible word, and I don't like using it ever. Six genitalia exposed. Come on, Daniel. <laughs> well, yeah, of course it's this dagger, isn't it? Oh God, it's cursed. <laughs> Uh, roll 1d100. God. Oh, oh God, Dan. <laughs> Why do you hurt me like this? So ignore the, oh my ignore the one. Uh, so, so four. Jesus Christ. Four on a d100. Oh, no. You get knocked prone. You get disarmed and you're stunned. Uh, and also you damage yourself. <laughs> Oh, and back to unconsciousness. <laughs> okay, no more. <laughs> That's fair, but I get another few turns of uh, slapping it. Yeah. <laughs> but the other times have been not so... unconscious. I feel like I have brain damage now. <laughs> <laughs> I think all of us have brain damage. You're currently unconscious, Daniel. Uh, my dagger's not in my hands anymore. No. That it's fucking so... nightmare. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Um Krath. Hello. You've got um, another death save to do. Oh yes. Save. 
So two We're fails, one two save. Fails. Oh, wait, yeah, is it 2-2? Two, 2-2 two? Two for two again. It's 2-2 two two again. Oh, God. Here we go again. <laughs> okay, so the big golem going to slam attack her. Hitting. Slam attack. Oh, my God. Getting her down to one HP. Let's <laughs> doing another one. No! And yeah, she's down too. She down. is now unconscious, but before she drops, she stands back up and fucking feels the power. She's still only on one due to her um what's it called? I think it's called like Born Born for the Winter or something. Ooh. Uh uh Glory Over Death. Uh, instead of being reduced to zero hit points but not killed outright, you drop to one HP instead. Oh. So she fucking gets herself together. So she survives. Oh, thank fuck. Uh, and the guard is going to try and throw a spear at the, uh, like, I don't know, the ogre, I guess. The ogress. Ogress, sorry. Uh, I digress. And uh, hitting her, uh, not killing her, but certainly leaving her with a big old wound as it drops to one knee. Uh, right, Lucius, you don't do anything because you're unconscious. Fainor, you're unconscious. The woman is going to try her best to fucking muller this thing with another... Burning hands, or possibly something better if there's actually anything. Uh, shit. What is it? Uh, does she have any better spells, is the question. Uh, shit. Oh, God, it's got so much health. Um, God, I don't know what she would do. I guess just another... Burning hands. Oh, fuck off. Why is the damage so terrible? <laughs> oh, she could feasibly God. get the damage that she needs, I think. Yeah, she could. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Um, right. And yeah, she's going to fucking make it roll uh, dexterity again. Disadvantage. Uh... Okay, it failed, oh. so it takes 10 damage. Uh. Does she get anything? Uh, uh. No, I guess not. Um. No, shit. Uh. She's going to have to... No, she can't do anything, I don't think. Uh, no, it's just a melee weapon attack, unfortunately, so she can't re-roll the damage. Yeah, no, that's her turn. Mm, fuck. Uh, right, so the ogre is going to try and hit you again, Daniel. As a... Oh. You're not not... Uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, you're right. So she's going to throw her own javelin back at the the guard. <laughs> uh, but by um, javelin, I mean goblin. So... <laughs> oh, I see. All right. Um, misses. <laughs> Carrie, what are you going to do? Uh, the save. Yep. I just had this image in my head for a moment of like the ogre doing like a posh. Yeah. Okay, one. But Two fails. Uh... Uh, I think Daniel's on a new list, isn't he? Uh... Yeah, I'm on a new. Yeah, yeah, I'm on a new. Uh, okay, list. cool. Oh, yeah, you are. Sorry. Unfortunately, Daniel, you miss. Yep. Actually, um, no, wait. No, you hit. Sorry. Uh, when you remove armor completely, it sets it back to its base, which is eight. Ooh. So. Okay. 
Yeah. You you get rid of the modifier of armor and then it just becomes skin again. Deal yeah. one damage. Just whoosh, give it a little nick. Um Right, so Krath, one more. Come on, Krath. And that's it. No Krath is dead, unfortunately. Fatality. Oh. It took fucking hearty bastard that he is. He he unfortunately <laughs> succumbs to his wounds. The various and very extensive wound list that He's he has. He's got like floppy extendable limbs, so I just stretch out into a puddle or some shit. <laughs> oh god. So yeah. You uh you feel your heart kind of <laughs> kind of end. Just very slowly. And uh, you get to be the first person who tries oh. this <laughs> glorious... Uh, what class are you? Uh, warlock. Warlock. Yeah, right. I'm a warlock. So, you get your choice of three last stands and your final worthy death. As you would for a nobleman as yourself or a you know fighter of justice you can either have equivalent exchange hubris or pact's end these are three about... final cries from your deathbed considering how i spent the most of the time unconscious but uh give me more information on this hubris one hubris you didn't intend to die, but for what you asked, should you really have expected a happy ending? You cast a warlock spell you know up to your highest known spell uh, level. This spell does not require a spell slot component. Uh, special circumstances, such as having to be uh, cast at night, or a casting time. You maintain concentration or control over uh, your spell and its creation for the shorter of their duration or five minutes. Uh, get the well, big one. Get the get the get the best. Not the not the shitty ogre. I guess. Or would you prefer you light the wick of your own potential, burning away your future for the sake of uh, of these fools. At least they have to live on knowing you were right. Choose one ally within a thousand feet at the end of each of your turns. They regain the use of one of their spent spell slots up to their highest known spell level, minus one. After each spell slot restoration, you may choose to exchange which ally uh, will receive the next spell slot restoration. Or, with Pact's end, you, uh, closing your eyes and speaking in a tongue beyond mouths, you reveal the blood sign scroll you once promised to destroy. Summon a fiend, a fae, or an aberration with a challenge rating up to your warlock level. Play as your character controlling this avatar for one minute, after which your patron reclaims control of both. The avatar loses all vulnerabilities and immune to hostile ab uh, abjuration spells with your controlling it. So you can just summon a demon or whatever and become it. Tempting. But uh, I like the idea of one final spell. Okay, yeah. I want to I wanna zap that bitch. You will not go quietly into the night. I've been a slumber the entire time and I need to release some pent up energy. So right. I'm gonna cast Witch Bolt at seven second level. Okay. Nice. Hitting. Uh, Which are you targeting? The golem. The, I mean oh. There's him. Is there anyone else? Yeah, there's the rock boy over here. Where's he? Oh. Rock boy well, is most dangerous. But at the same time, it's up to you. I mean... Yeah, you would see him. Was it the rock guy that threw me around? 
Uh, no, but he has been pummeling everybody. <laughs> Why is it a bit rude? Uh, I'll zap the, the the rock boy. Okay. Fuck him. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so, in each of my turns for the duration, mm -hmm. just one minute, uh, although I don't know if that works like that, because that was my one final action. Mm -hmm. It takes 1d12. So, so it does say that you can con control it uh, and concentrate on it for uh, the shorter of the duration or five minutes. Okay. Take that five minutes. Well, no, it has to be either oh, the spell or the, the five minutes. It's concentration up to one minute, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. six turns. Six turns. Right. I thought it was so, six turns around. It is, yeah. So that would be ten turns, right? Mm -hmm. Well, nine turns from this point, I think. So, yeah. how do you want to kill it? Ooh. Uh, in your final breath. Into the chest, I want it to... I what want does to it look like when you cast your final spell? To enter this thing, it just calls it to... It's, it's, its stone body to rupture from within. Okay. And the rest of it's crumble away. So you watch as it arcs from your fingertips over to it and watching as uh, its body kind of generate with the uh, energy from inside and just turning it into rubble instantly killing it and since you instantly killed it would you also like to uh, choose a second target uh the, 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 oh, i've can I can I select the smoke boy? Mm-hmm. I, I presume I'd, it's another D twelve. Yep. Three oh. damage. One to that boy. How do you want to kill that? <laughs> Shit. Butt. Straight into the butt. <laughs> <laughs> so as it turns its horrible gooch at the direction of Carrie to try and smash her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wording <laughs> it's a perfect bent over position for your bolt to enter through the anus and out the faces <laughs> and you just watch a meaty gore viscera explosion on top of Carrie as it <laughs> drops to the floor oh, head. my vessel celebrates and from everybody's uh, <laughs> from everybody else's point of view Krath spends his final dying breath and kind of points in both directions, letting out a horrible streak of... What colour would you say your um, witch bolt is? Blue? Very dark and abyssal blue. Mm. Nice. Completely decimating the two targets. <laughs> okay, now. And my stretchy limbs just flop to the ground. Right, so I get them from the turn order. As you are now no longer in combat. Does that cause us to auto just become unconscious? I can't remember. Um, well, yeah, so you can... Actually, hmm, it's kind of hard to say because normally the reason why you get to be stabilised is because you're allies. Party, yeah. So Ali's been stabilised, Rory's been stabilised. You're yep. the only one left. Yep. So it depends what she does. Um, I would say the woman comes over and helps stabilize you. So mm. you three are stabilized. Would she have went um, first, however? Probably, yeah. She probably would have seen the guard uh, faffing over Lucius and came to you, seeing the, like, meaty gore viscera uh, being on top of what seems to be a floating creature with like weird tendrils and she kind of like backs away slightly attempting mm. to like fix you up as best as she can hmm. I guess unless she... you want to roll do you uh depends if it took place at the same point as a death save then it would have so the way to probably say it works is it's almost like it's calm but then every time my condition changes it 
you know, spasms, and that's mm. when it slices out. So okay. technically, if she waited for one of those, she could quite easily get to me. I mean, it seems calm enough. I mean, your uh, orb does not see an ogre facing it currently. Mm. Um, but yeah, that. so uh, we established that Ali is out for two hours, Rory's yeah. out for one. Oh, so Walder's for one? Yeah. Yep. And I'm out for the count. Hmm. Yeah. Dealing the, the most critical of roles, as it were. Mm. <laughs> Oh, wait, is the stream frozen? Yeah, uh, that was what I was just noticing now. Oh, no. No, James. James! <laughs> oh. There it goes. Oh, wow. Sad soup. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, uh, you're out two hours as well. So, um,. Unfortunately, um, yeah, even though that's all done, um, you'll probably be dragged outside, I guess, over the course of that time. So, like, uh, you... Hmm, one second, I'll see if I actually... No, I didn't. All right, one second. I'm just going to draw a uh, outside of the cave scene. <laughs> It's going to be very, very shit. Crap's epic moment was not scene. captured. Do we already have a scene of outside the cave where we got to choose which entrance we go through? That's no, unfortunately. No. And we it's were... all in the theatre of the mind. We were just talking about it, imagining it. All right, so let's get our friends. Friends and comrades. 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 Come on, red. <laughs> We're uh, gambling. Shit. So, yeah. right. Let's get you copied, pasted onto the new scene. I love the fact that they've added like little. Uh, Goblin sounds on the like audio. <laughs> yeah. That's my goblin impression, even though. Me What? Me Brazini? <laughs> All right. There you go. You guys are now on this sort of layer. Kind of what it would have looked like. Unconscious, unconscious, no corpse of crap. Unless you want to drag me around like that goblin did. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> you guys all. Cards. That fucking mm -hmm. prick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did what I do best, and I uh, guard of the entrance. <laughs> Get an eye out. I was told so, yeah. not to uh, <laughs> sacrifice my life in vain. Yeah, yeah literally, well, man. Uh, I'm so yeah. scared. Luckily, my pounds are brown and red. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you guys take like an additional hour and uh, two to rest up, I guess? Uh, if we're doing a short rest, I'm going to have to use my inspiration <laughs> to do the... Uh, Copy. Unfortunately, you wouldn't be considered as taking a short rest. Ah, uh, then is the time taken for you to wake up? Then no worries. Yeah, that's fine. As I'll take the time to wake up. Okay, so uh, two hours pass, and um, the the guard who had been um, with you guys, kind of like hiding by the entrance. Um, had called in the two other guards uh, to help him go back inside. Um, but you saw that they were carrying, like, small orbs of, like, lead, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, 
and eventually, like, when you begin to wake up, you hear, like, uh, as you only assume that they've used uh, some rudimentary grenades to uh, deal with some other incoming enemies. Um, but about two hours pass before you uh, wake up. Um, finding that, uh, like, essentially, uh, they are dragging out what appears to be a goblin. Um, and he looks different to the other ones. He looks a bit more, uh, substantial, as it were. Okay. So I'll, I'll try and get onto... Oh, wait. Why are you guys still stuck on that layer? I thought you dragged you onto that one. <gasps> Yeah. Weird. Uh, but yeah, so they kind of have him all tied up and uh, dragging him out by his uh, the scruff of his neck. Uh. And holding him off to one side. So you guys are all back to one HP. Oh. Okay. That, that was not pleasant. Oh. So what do you guys do? Uh, automatically, I look around and go, where's Kraft? Well, you I've had my share of tumbles, but ow, that hurt. I'm not sure where he is. Oh, no. Uh, I gingerly get up and slowly walk over <laughs> to the woman. Okay. And I go, uh, thank you for the help. Just wondering, uh, what happened since I've been uh, unconscious and where is our friend Kraft? Probably in blue. I, I don't know who you're referring to. Uh, he's uh, the uh, blue man. The <laughs> Triton. The Triton. Um, I'm I'm not sure. I didn't uh, didn't really see uh, over all the bodies. He must be still in there, or uh, have you taken all the bodies out? Certainly not. Uh, I saw those guards over there. They've um, they've taken themselves to. Uh, Bring out your your friends. Okay. Thank you, Bob. I uh, help hold on my hand for her. Thank you for the help. She reaches out and uh, gives you a proper shake. It is uh, no problem. I was going to be doing that myself, but uh, the the idea wasn't going to be to do them all in one go like that. And I certainly didn't expect them to have quite a strong ally as they did. Yes, Th that was, uh, we thought it would be just, uh, you know, go in, find the villagers and get out. We did, we, I, I expected trouble. I expected a few goblins, but not that much. That was mm -hmm. way out of our league. But the fact that we're still here, barely, but we're still here. Well, it was uh, certainly not an easy fight. I barely escaped with my life. Uh, maybe it was your friend that uh, helped me out with that creature. Well, yeah. that's, that's good. That's good. Hmm. I can certainly say it was. Uh, are you doing okay? Are you... Uh... Still in need of any medical assistance? I, I do feel not very well, and I think I might have a little bit of a concussion, but uh, it's been a lot of uh, head hitting. So if you have any healing or anything that might help, that would be very appreciated, especially to my yeah. other colleagues and friends. 
as I point Most... to Kyrie and no. Thano over there. Mm. Uh, she she just kind of like nods and says, "Yes, uh, it's best to keep yourselves um, stocked up on healing potions whenever you're going on quests such as this." Uh, I mm. brought myself some, uh, but you are free to use them. And she hands you three normal healing potions. Three normal. Perfect. Yeah. Let me just quickly... And uh, you watch as she pops the cork of one and kind of begins drinking it. Cool, cool, cool. Um... So we have two potions. Well, no, um... she, she has her own one. Oh, I see. I she see. gave... Alley three, and then had one of her yeah. own. I have an, uh, I have just uh, about to add them to my inventory and go over to you guys and hand them to you. Right. Who's that blighter then? Ali? Uh, pardon? No, Sorry. No. Were you not talking to Ali, asking who that blighter was? No, I was asking who this guy is. To the guards. Oh, to the guards. Sorry, I didn't notice. I thought you were talking to Daniel, um, Ali. Uh, you just see the guard who was um, helping uh, you guys earlier, and he's like, this is the, uh, the goblin boss, from what we can tell. He was in the last room. Uh, got his own little entourage, as it were. Um, after looking through the cave, I think they've they've taken some of the lives of the uh, some of the village, villagers. But don't worry, while you guys were unconscious, we managed to get uh, some of the remaining civilians out. It's nice. just a shame it wasn't everyone. Good to hear. Not ideal. Do you, do you know what happened to our, to our friend? Uh, there were four of us. There was only three. Oh, the fish man. Um, last I saw, he conjured some sort of beam and killed two creatures like that. But after that, he, it seems like he wasn't breathing. Ah. Oh, dear. Brave soul he was. I mean... It's not every day that you see someone kill two things in his final breath. He must have really wanted you guys to survive. Impressive feet. Well, uh, do you guys know anything about interrogation? Because this little fucker, he's not giving us anything and neither of us or any of us speak any goblin. Uh, Fred, I can't help you there. I can. Yeah? Do you speak... Do you have comprehend, comprehend languages as a spell? Oh, uh, well, I mean, be be my guest if, uh, if you've got a spell that will do it. As you hear the, uh, the, the goblin just kind of like... Hey, well, just as well, it's well, right. So yeah, I, yeah, it says well, comprehend languages last an hour. Uh, you understand the literal meaning of any spoken language that you hear. Okay. Okay. And you can also re read it as well. Okay. Yeah. So uh, do you cast it then? Yeah, because I've got well, I've got two first level spell slots left. So. Yeah. Okay, dokie. Um, so when you cast it, you hear him as uh, he would be perceived by uh, his own race, where he's just like, let me go, you disgusting humans. And he looks over at you and he's just like, what are you looking at? Uh, I'm looking at you. Thank you for the fucking obvious. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you the boss of these goblins? Do I look like a fucking scrub? Yes, I am the boss. <laughs> I 
Why? What does it mean anything to you? The way you fucking understand anything. Then you still just look at you with disdain. Just thinking what we need to. Is there anything you want to say to the goblin, Karate? Hmm. Why did you take the villagers captive? Why, well, and then you relay that? Yeah. yeah. He just uh, replies and looks at the woman, uh, or sorry, looks at Carrie and then back at you, uh, Fainor, and just says, to eat, obviously. Hmm. Fair enough. Our area's been pretty much picked dry by these bloody fucking elves. Speaking of which, and then looks back at you and your pointy ears. <laughs> ah. Have anything to say about these elves? Huh? A lot, if you want to fucking listen. Grab a seat, I'll tell you the whole story. Go on then. We, I mean, we're not going anywhere soon. He just smirks and he's just like, he's got a horrible sort of grin to him. He just says, well, it was all right before they fucking moved in. We were able to hunt as much as we liked eating animals and such, but the second they moved in, started killing the orcs, and then also started killing our own kind. Started taking all the uh, the kills for themselves, and we were being starved out. What a fucking inconsiderate group of disgusting creatures, and just stares at you, like, deep in his eyes, just like, glancing over. I don't believe Falnor is one of their kin. Don't forget, you can't actually, unless he's relaying yeah, this. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, 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 I'm relaying the whole thing, like back and forth. Just an interpreter, you just like saying. Yeah. <laughs> I understand your motives, but what you did to those people didn't make it okay. Oh, the villagers were innocent. Everybody's innocent until you start starving. But none of you would fucking know that. Me, I had to step up. And he just kind of like beats his chest as much as he can with the guards holding his arms. Someone had to take charge. Goblins aren't particularly organised without a hobgoblin around and no one fucking wants any of those. I'd rather be a, a leader than a slave driver. And if it means that we have to eat a few humans to make sure that we survive, well, I mean, what's the difference when you start walking into our territory? <laughs> do you know how many villages, how many villages did you first take in altogether? Oh, I think about eight. Two of them were delicious, though. Two of them? Well, we're only small. Though, I mean, the ogres argued plenty. Had to make sure we lasted as long as we could. On them. Arm, leg, head. Take what we could get. Had to feed the biggest parts to the yogas or else they were going to cause trouble. Mated pair, you see, trying to have a baby. Wasn't going to work out very well. Especially if they couldn't eat. I guess you would be next on a chopping block. Oh, uh, yeah, if we couldn't feed them, that's for sure. But we weren't going to last long enough to uh, try and find that out. If the going gets tough, we were going to get going, you know? Hmm. So why, why do you lot care anyway? They're not your friends, they're not your family. Why the fuck does it matter? 
But you don't even know them, do you? I bet you're just a load of adventurers. The only thing you're worried about is how much money you're going to get from saving them all. Less people, less money, right? You are quite right. I smirk at him. <laughs> this is well, just as the same reason you're doing this. I have a family back at my circus. And I will do anything for them. Boo fucking who. <laughs> Didn't ask for your sob story. I'm still my sob to do. What was that? I was just saying I'm, I'm just going to flow. I'm just, I'm just going with what I was, you know, yeah. what I was taught to do. Save the village. Yeah, you say that so quick, and my brain kind of didn't understand what you said. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Both thinkers. Uh, probably either conversation at this point. Hmm. Or much more, and probably bad idea to antagonize the goblin when missing. It took about eight. I remember, how many villages were there in total? Right. Um. As far as you remember, they uh, had come looking for like eight villages that had left. Ah, so they probably got a lot. Well, I think that's uh, all the information we can get out of them. Guards just have been like, you know, listening as much as they could. And uh, you see them kind of like grip him harder every now and again when he mentions about the villagers and their family and friends not caring about him. Sort of say to the guards, well, you know what you did to your fellow villagers? I mean, do what you please with them. And, uh, like, the goblin looks at you and, like, he doesn't, um, like, go shocked or anything when you say that, uh, as he begins to get dragged away by the guards. Um, he just looks at you with a continuous smirk until like his very last moment where the guards just lop off his head. Yep. Nice. And uh, even after he's dead, the only thing left on his face is like a, a grin, essentially. Hmm. Oh, God. What a creepy guy. All right. Actually, I can uh, get rid of that turn order now. So yeah, what do you guys do then once uh once the guards head back to their like, you know, villages and also back to uh what's her face? I sort of come back to Lucius and say I had a little talk with the leader, Goblin, and yeah, it's like they got all the villages. But <sighs> the guards I think uh recovered a few. A few of that's that's good. At least a few of them survived. Oh, what? Or oh, whoever survived. Oh, and uh, I have them one potion of healing each. From my friend. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, end it there, I guess? Yeah. Like, uh, uh, you guys actually bothered to take a rest? Yep, I'm, ta <laughs> I'm taking a rest. So, yeah, um, as you guys come down to, like, rest, uh, it's still probably, like, midday, funny enough. Uh, <laughs> and, um, the woman kind of begins, like, resting back against the, uh, the mountain, um, or sorry, the, like, hill, and begins, um, like... She pulls this loop from her back uh, uh, and uh, begins to play it ever so slightly. Nice. Hmm. Uh, are we going to take a short rest or a long rest? I would suggest a long rest. I would do that. Yeah, long rest right here. Oh, and... Uh, God. During this moment, I'm just going to be thinking of Kraf and uh, the fact that he managed to take out 
Actually, I don't know about that uh, because I was over here with an unconscious. I'm just going to be sitting back thinking about craft. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, the, the scene kind of ends as uh, we kind of pan into uh, the woman playing this, uh, this lute um, just by her side. Uh, can someone make a perception check, or all of you can make a perception check to see if you notice something when she pulled it out? Sure. Nineteen. Damn. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything. <laughs> Thank you, Lucius. For my wounds. Um... Both of you notice that on the underside of the uh, lute says, um, like inscribed in the bottom, "You are my star, my moon, my sun." Oh. And uh, you also notice that um, on the ring that uh, on the fingers that she's using to strum, one of them has a like a ring on, but it's on the wedding ring finger. Got yeah. And yeah, uh, we pan out on that scene kind of like zooming in on the um, inscription as it blends into the wood and pans to black, or fades to black, sorry. We are finished for the session tonight. Hmm. So I hope everybody's enjoyed this like pretty intense session with some crazy luck. <laughs> yeah, crazy. yeah, so much luck. And um, oh, once again, the uh, the stream's frozen again froze. so. it's froze but anyway um yeah closing off the session i hope that everybody's enjoyed i'm sorry tom it's all right uh, it happens. You, you spent most of your time dead <laughs> or dying i mean but at least you get to come back next session uh bright and fresh with a new character if you if you so wish one Maybe something a bit more hearty. Bigger than ten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, if everybody else has enjoyed the stream tonight, uh, hopefully you can join us tomorrow. Uh, if we do have a stream going on, I'm not sure what it's going to be. Uh, but yeah. Uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Yeah. Uh...